We are at the East Tennessee Ag Research and Education Center Plant Sciences Unit, home to all of the turf grass research here at the University of Tennessee. My team focuses on weed control in a variety of turf grass systems, be they golf courses, athletic fields, and lawns, both in the warm season market and in the cool season market. So this summer we've been researching Dismiss NXT in both warm season turf grass systems and cool season turf grass systems. Our work in warm season turf grass has been focused on Bermuda grass and Zoysia grass. Our work in cool season turf grass has really been centered on tall fescue. And the principal targets that we're trying to remove with the Dismiss NXT in these scenarios have been yellow nutsedge and green kalinga. So far, we've seen exceptional turf grass tolerance in all areas with Dismiss NXT applications. Safety to tall fescue, safety to zoysia grass, safety to hybrid Bermuda grass, and an array of different rates that are on the product label, and excellent efficacy for yellow nutsedge control and green kalinga control. So this is a trial looking at green Kalinga control and tall fescue. Uh, like many of our experimental setups, uh, a mixture of weeds are gonna be present within our desirable turf stand. So here we've got our green Kalinga throughout our untreated check plot here, often confused with a grass based on its morphology, but it is uh, botanically very different from tall fescue, uh, the grass that we're looking at. We also have other weeds throughout these plots. You know, there's a fair amount of Virginia buttonweed uh, in most of these plots as well. Uh, but our focus when we assess the performance of an experimental treatment is on the ability to remove the green Kalinga from the stand and look at the effects um, on the tall fescue that is present. So this is Dismiss NXT at five fluid ounces to the acre. Uh, if we look in the center of the plot, this is not really done well for controlling green Kalinga, but it is the lowest end of the rate range. Next, we have Dismiss NXT at eight fluid ounces per acre. We can see a nice rate response here where we've increased our rate to eight ounces and we've uh, got more activity and more overall control uh, on our green Kalinga. And if we bump that rate even higher to the higher end of the rate range at 10 fluid ounces, we can see even more of a population reduction, particularly when we focus in the center of the plot uh, relative to the untreated strips that are on the left and the right. Our green Kalinga population has been reduced uh, quite a bit. That's right. And the last plot is one of our industry standard ALS materials. It's been on the market a number of years. Uh, it's done a pretty decent job at this point with the green Kalinga, but it took 21 days to get here, whereas with the NXT, we were able to get a high level of uh, control and activity at seven days after application. So this is a yellow nut sedge control trial uh, looking at dismiss NXT efficacy for yellow nut sedge control uh, in tall fescue turf. You know, here's our non-treated check plot. Uh, clearly, we've got our yellow nut sedge uh, above the turf grass canopy here and really good pressure of this yellow nut sedge throughout the entire site. But there is a mix of crabgrass throughout here. There's some white clover in here some Virginia buttonweed in here as well, along with our desirable tall fescue. So here's Dismiss NXT at five ounces to the acre. Uh, if we look down the center of this treated plot, we can see we've done a very good job uh, removing our yellow nut sedge population. You will see there's some remaining green Kalinga plants throughout here, and that's really an effect of the fact that that's a very low rate of Dismiss NXT overall. Here's Dismiss NXT at eight ounces to the acre. Uh, so we've increased our rate uh, story on yellow nut sedge is very similar when we focus in the center of the plot relative to our untreated strips along the sides. Uh, we can see that we've removed our yellow nut sedge population very well. We don't have any of that green Kalinga uh, hanging around like we did at the lowest end of the rate range and overall really good efficacy. Here's Dismiss NXT at 10 fluid ounces to the acre. We focus on the center of the plot. Very similar story here. Uh, we've removed our yellow nut sedge, we've removed our green Kalinga, uh, and have uh, really effective weed control. Our last plot's one of the industry standard ALS materials that's been on the market for a number of years. And at this point, we're at 21 days after we're seeing, you know, pretty good level of control of the yellow nut sedge here, but it took us 21 days to get here, whereas with the Dismiss NXT and the Dismiss, we were able to get there within about seven days for that level, same level of control. So this is a tall fescue tolerance study 
uh, with the Smiths NXT and a pretty typical experimental setup for us where we have our desirable turf grass, the tall fescue, intermixed with a number of different weeds. Uh, so we have crabgrass in these plots, we've got some Virginia buttonweed in these plots, Kalinga in these plots as well, uh, but overall this site was selected to see if the Dismiss NXT would cause any negative effects to the desirable tall fescue. We have Dismiss NXT at 5 and Dismiss NXT at 8 as well, and we saw no injury with either of those applications in this trial. Yeah, excellent turf safety on the tall fescue. One of the things that was very striking in all of our trial work was that symptoms were apparent uh, very quickly after the application. Uh, in our plots, we would see symptoms within five to seven days after treatment, where in our competitive standard, symptoms really didn't start to show until 14 to 21 days after the application was made. The one thing that I would tell a golf course superintendent about Dismiss NXT would be that if they were looking for something to control Sedge and Kalinga in a rapid manner where they would see symptoms within uh, say seven days, dismiss NXT would be a good choice in that scenario.